Hi, my name is Jonathan Rumi. I am the actor, co-producer, co-director of The Last Days, The Passion and Death of Jesus the Christ. I play Jesus Christ in this play. You only live once. Just kidding. Be right back. Jesus. <laughs> and I'm Maria Vargo. I am his co-producer, co-director, and I play the Blessed Mother Mary, his mama, in The Last Days. We are excited to be bringing this show to you. The Last Days is, is our interpretation of a passion play. We start from Jesus teaching in the temple where he's talking about the last days on earth and the kingdom coming, all the way to his crucifixion, his death, and his burial. It was taken from all of the Gospels, and then we do add in some of our own interpretation of what was going on in Judas's mind before he turned Jesus in. We have <laughs> done this now for a few years together, and we're just excited to bring it to a larger audience at Emmanuel Presbyterian Church. And we both feel that evangelizing through the arts is powerful. We've seen uh, through the last few years that we've done this, just the, the life-changing moments that it's created. We want to be able to reach as many people as possible so that people know the depth the love that Christ has for them. And I think that through seeing his passion, that's one of the most powerful ways that people can understand how much Jesus loves us. I would say that my experience playing Christ has been nothing short of profound for me. I've been playing Jesus in uh, one project or another now for the last five years, uh, in a multimedia project with uh, Maria uh, about the life of St. Faustina. And then from there, I started doing a couple of short films for a director by the name of Dallas Jenkins. And then during that time, I started working. Um, uh, Maria had asked me to be a part of the uh, Living Stations of the Cross over at uh, St. Monica Parish. And then uh, that sort of led to this incarnation of uh, our version of the Passion Play. When you've got somebody that stands up in the middle of the crowd, when you start the performance and wants to hug you, you just go over and you hug them. And then next thing you know, she's like weeping into your shoulder. How does that not affect you, you know? People look at you differently. Like when you, as soon as you walk in the church playing Jesus, people change like a kid seeing Santa Claus at Macy's waiting online to sit on his lap to tell him what they want for Christmas. And it's kind of like, oh my gosh, there he is. So I've, I've learned to be very, very careful about playing it and uh, I, I do a lot of prayer before and it's actually made me a better person. My emotional experience playing Mary is we chose to in the Pieta moment when she's holding Christ to give her a monologue because uh, as we know we she doesn't have any lines <laughs> we just see her uh, in the we know that she's there and we can meditate and imagine what she might have been thinking or feeling. And it's similar to the rosary, right? When we pray those mysteries, we meditate on what she might have been thinking. And when I hold him in my arms, she's remembering that the angel Gabriel appeared to her. And then to think about what Simeon said to her. But for me, I really just, and I have not I had the, um, the great gift to have a child in my own life. Um, I had an abortion in my early 20s, and that's part of my whole witness and story and um, the grace and mercy of God. This is the emotional thing that comes to me is that I'm holding my child as if the first time I held my baby Jesus when he was born. I mean, just that moment that comes over you of how can this be that now he's gone and to get to be a, a part of this amazing story, the complete experience was beyond anything that I could ever imagine. The power of live theater. Jesus is in this show. He is right there with you. And this is not only just live theater where the uh, characters are on the stage and the audience is removed. This is in more of an environmental theater. It's, it's right in the moment. This moment between us is not going to happen again. Jesus enters coming from the back and you have uh, different scenes being played out throughout the, the church. It's a communal experience 
it, the, just the amount of energy that's happening in the room really changes lives. So your brain, I think, is on working on a different level that captures it and will never forget that moment. And it goes, it's visceral, it goes right to the soul. Energy is tangible, palpable, and it's, it's uh, evocative and it's uh, transformative. And so when you've got a thousand people in a room that are all completely engaged in what's going on, uh, whether it's w witnessing a very realistic flogging or it's a guy suffering with the weight of a huge cross on his back and falling hard onto a marble floor. People react like that. Last year, the first time I fell, fall as Jesus, I fell down a couple of stairs and I fall pretty hard. And you can see a gentleman immediately go to try to reach to try to help me up. When you see that, you, you can just see that it's, it's, a, it's instantly engaging and you can't that doesn't happen in, with movies. That doesn't happen with television. You're not reaching. You might yell at the screen, but when it's happening in front of you, your, your reaction, because you're, you're so engaged with what's happening and the reality of it, if we're doing our jobs well and the spirit is with us, which it is. We really feel like we want to share this. We, we, we know the power in it, and we want to share it. We know when we did it last year, and it was seen in seven countries um, by over a couple thousand people, and people wrote me and said, it was so powerful, so moving, it made my Good Friday, it made my Lent. And I'm thinking, from watching their computer at home, this live show, they were moved. I thought, that's powerful. So I would love to see this be a yearly thing, broadcast live, like the Ten Commandments was growing up. Why not? Why not have the passion live on Good Friday, broadcast across the world. The first performance uh, begins April 5th, and we go five performances, April 5th, 6th, 12th, 13th, and then on Good Friday afternoon on the 19th. Really, one of the reasons, too, to expand it was beyond Good Friday was to give people an opportunity to use this as a Lenten meditation. We have a website, it's thelastdayspassionplay.com. This is gonna be held at Emanuel Presbyterian Church in Koreatown. It's on Wilshire Boulevard, 3300 Wilshire Boulevard and Barendo. The, the tickets are $15 as an early bird until March 15th, and then they go up to 20. Uh, and then at the door, they'll be 20 as well. So, And we also have a VIP, VIP ticket that is $50, where you get front row seating and a wine reception, and you get to, to hug Jesus.